हेलो 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 हाई गाइज की हाल चाल आई होप गुड इन दिस वीकॉन्सिपॉर्म फाइंड द चाइल्ड हु हैज द बॉल आफ्टर के सेकेंड्स नाउ ऑल दट इज मार्क्ड एज ईजी बट कंसिडरिंग यू गो बाई दस्टेंट्स If it is asked in interview, it can be a medium problem. It's a math problem. Cool. Let's see. So it is simply given that we are given two positive integers n and k. There are n children numbered from zero to n minus one. So I have n children numbered from zero to n minus one. These are the n children I have. Okay, not I have, but this problem has. Standing in a queue in the order from left to right, which means zero, one, two, up till so on, up to n minus one. Now, initially the child zero holds the ball, and the direction of passing the ball is towards right. This means this child is holding the ball, and he will pass the ball towards right in the first second. After each second, the child holding the ball passes it to the child next to them. And again, we realize that how the passing is done in the very beginning. It is right pass. But once the ball reaches the either end of the line, which means okay, as it will keep on passing to the right, 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 right. As it reaches the end of the line, which means the last child, it has to reverse the direction of the pass. Now it will start passing in the left, left, left each second, and ultimately you have to tell the number of the child who is holding the ball after k seconds. For example, in this you will see that in the very beginning the ball is with the zero child. In the first second it will go to the child one. Next second child two. Next second child one. Next second child zero. Next second, next second child. One and thus at the end of k equal to five, five seconds. If I have three children, it will be with the first child, as in like the child with the number one. Now, if I ask you what is the normal standard approach, you know you have n children. You can simply write as a form of an array, simple n children. Now you know at every step, you can just mark it as let's say I am standing at it here. Index is here. Simply at every k movement. Go to the next index i. Again, k movement. Next index i. When you have reached the end, just keep on coming back. Okay, i here, i here, i here. So basically, what I am doing is I am moving my i as per k. So my k was zero, one, two, three. Like as my k is not exhausted, I will keep on moving my i. I reached end. Keep on moving back. That's how I simply keep on moving my i. Which is the index, and thus ultimately, when the entire k is exhausted, wherever my i is, that is my answer. Now, for this complexity, as you have to build this entire array, so for sure o of n will be this required, and then you have to go and try for all the k's, which means k. For this, the complexity of o of n plus k will easily work because k is very small. But in these kind of problems, the actual essence of problem is when the k is very large. When the k is one e nine, that I have to keep on trying, 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 trying. It can be more than like it can be one e eighteen also. I have to keep on trying. Thus, this kind of approach in which you have you are moving the index that will not work. In these kind of approaches, for sure, you can easily think of that things are repeating, which means you just have to tell which round it is for the person because in the first round he is moving left, in the next round he is moving. Right, sorry. In the first round, he's moving right. In the next round, which is round two, he's moving left. Then in the next round, he's again moving right. So you have to just figure out which round it is and how many steps are remaining for the last round. And thus, you will be able to simply reach onto that specific index. Now, in general, you know that you have three numbers. Your k is five. Now let's figure out that what is happening. In the very beginning, I am at the starting index, which is zero. In the first round, as soon as the first round is done, as you can see, round one, round one, round one. When the round one is done, which means okay, you have reached the end, right? Now, when the round two is done, you have you have again reached back to the start. So, although the n was three, but I can easily see that each round is actually of length two. Each round is of length two. Although the number of children are three, but because of I, as soon as I have reached here, in the next iteration, the next step, in the next second, I am moving on to here. Then I am moving on to here. So I can easily say that one round looks like two seconds. One round looks like two seconds. Cool. And how I figure out this by simply saying, okay, my n was three. I had three children. So one round will contain n minus one. Sorry. Um, I have three children, so 
my one round will have n minus one number of seconds or iterations. Okay, so if I have two iterations for rounds, so firstly, let's see how many rounds are entirely completed. How I will know that? Simply, I know I have five seconds. I know each round will take two seconds, right? So five by two, give me two. It says that two rounds are completed. Then still I will be remaining with how many seconds? Five more two will give me how many seconds are still remaining. It gives me one. So it tells me that two rounds are completed. Now for the next round, which you are about to start, which is the third round, you have to do one, one jump or you have to do like one step kind of. So when that two rounds are completed, you are at the third round, which means you are at the odd round. In the odd round, you know very well for sure that you go from the left. From the left, he asks me to do one jump. So I'll do one jump. So I will reach the index zero. So index one. And that's my answer. Cool. Let's see for the next example. My n is five. So I realized one round will take four seconds. So I will take four seconds for one round. How many rounds will be completed when I'm done? So obviously I will be done with, if I am saying, okay, I have six seconds. Each round will take four seconds. So for sure, one round will be done. If I am saying one round will be done, okay. Then remaining number of steps, four more two. Two steps are still remaining. But these two steps are after the first round, which means right now I am at the second round. Second round is the even round. Even round, I go in from the right. So I can easily see that on the even round, I have to go two steps. One step, two steps, which means I, if I know that I have my ending at this specific value with let's say four, so I have to just go two steps. From this ending, I have to go two steps. And that's my answer. Cool. So just what you, what you did, firstly figure out how many rounds are done. With that, when, when you know how many rounds are done, you will easily be knowing that what is the current round you are at. It's an odd round or even round. If the round runs are odd, for sure, you are at an even round. In the even round, you have to go from the right. As you have to go from the right, you will simply say, again, as you have simply reduced your n, so you can simply say, my n is for sure here. I have to go two steps back, which means n minus 2 is my answer. If I would have been from the left, so again, this one, which is the id, you can say, or you can say steps, let's say steps, s. So this s would have been the answer if, if I would have gone from the left. If from the right, then n minus s is my answer. Cool. Let's see the last example. For sure, uh, I have my n as 4. So in each round, I will have 3 seconds, which I will waste. But I can see I have only 2 seconds. So I will have 0 rounds. Right. Now, I can simply say the remaining number of rounds are 2. I have 2 seconds. Each round will take 3 seconds. I have 2 seconds remaining. But these two seconds are from the left only because I have done no rounds. So I have to still try on for the first round, which is the odd round. You will go from the left. If you go from the left, you will simply say S. S. This S is the answer. So you realize one thing only that first you should reduce your N just to know that for a specific round, how many seconds will be iterated. Then number of rounds done so far will be K by N. Number of steps remaining will be K modern or you can say go to index. Now, if the rounds, number of rounds done are even, which means current round which you are trying is odd. For the odd round, you have to go from the left. So I'll go from the left and we'll go directly on that S, value S. But elsewise, it is from the right, then go to N minus S. Make sure N is already decreased. So it is a correct value. And thus, this is your answer in O of one time in O of one space. And that's the maths approach. I hope you guys got it. If yes, then please just smash the like button and make sure. What if you have K? Par is bar. Nice one. Bye bye. Take care.